This is name is George Bashpeke. Today we are going to solve this question, which is taken from Gujarati's basic econometrics books. And as the question is demanding, we have to prove that the, reg the regression line must pass through the origin. And this yi, the small yi actually is derived from, and this is actually the difference between the observed value of different i's, y's, and uh, and then the mean value of y. And similarly for its size, we are having this the difference between the different object values of x and the mean values of x okay so let's uh, start solving it so if you know that if it is the if it is passing that means if it is the regression line is passing through the origin that means you, you don't have any intercept right so if you draw this line then if you can see here we don't have any intercept that means your beta 1 gap will be 0. So let's find out if beta 1 here can be 0. That we have to show that your beta 1 cap will be 0. So how do you find out the beta 1 cap? The formula is y bar minus beta 2 cap x bar, right? So if you remember then what is yi, y bar? This y bar is actually you calculate as y bar equal to the summation of values of y from 1 to the n and y i upon the number of observations. So don't get confused between this y i and this uh, y and this uh, y i. Okay. So, this is the small yi actually and what, what is this small yi? We have already defined here that y, small yi will be. So, we can replace this actually in this one. We will replacing this at here. So, it remains the same. That is the summation, sum operator will be like that. Then you can take the difference between the object values of y and the mean values of y over n so as you know the these these values actually give rise to some negative values some positive values so they will cancel out each other so ultimate value and this will be zero and zero upon n will be zero right similarly for x bar sorry for x i it will be We will be taking this value, so this one x uh, x i minus x bar, where we are going to use it, we are, we are using these values to find out the x bar, okay. So this, 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 the step will be same. So summation of i uh, y from 1 to n, so here it will be x i, right upon n. So, just replace this by this value. Okay. So, it becomes, it remains the same and it becomes x i minus x bar upon n. Right. So, as you know, so just like this value, you will be having here the zero value. Right. So, plus minus plus values and negative values, they will cancel out each other. So, ultimate value will be zero. And 0 upon n will be 0. Now you have got your x bar is 0 and your uh, y bar is also 0. Now you let's put that value in this format, this formula. Okay. So if you put this, then that means beta 1 cap will be y bar equal to 0 minus beta 2 is, we don't know about it, but beta 2 cap we can just keep it. Then we can go for x bar. Right, so x bar is also 0, right? So if you see, then it becomes 0. That means your beta 1 cap, that is your intercept is 0. So this is, this regression line will pass through the origin, okay? So that's for today, friends. Please subscribe, please like, and please comment. 
so that I can bring more videos for you. Thank you.